Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. There are hundreds of lightsaber color crystals available in Star Wars The Old Republic. Some crystal colors are traditional, while others are cosmetic options only found in the game and not in any other Star Wars lore. In this video, we'll be going over my top 10 favorite types of color crystals in the game, ranging from the easy to come by to the wildly rare. Number 10. The Traditional Colors Although there are quite a few lightsaber crystals that are traditionally used by the Jedi, in Old Republic lore, only three colors have a very strong special meaning attached to them. Yellow lightsabers were wielded by Jedi Sentinels, who focused less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green lightsabers were chosen by Jedi Consulars, who mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Finally, blue lightsabers were used by Jedi Guardians who focus more on combat training and the use of a lightsaber. Something really important to note though is that even in Old Republic lore, a Jedi is not restricted to a single color, rather that color is a badge of pride for the Jedi path it signifies. What's interesting is that, especially in the lore introduced by the Old Republic comics, is that Jedi weren't the only users of these colors. Fallen Jedi often use the lightsabers from their former life. In the Old Republic era, red lightsabers are the standard weapon of the Sith and the bread and butter of the Empire's lightsabers. These crystals are fairly easy to obtain. The easiest way to get one is to craft it using Artifice or buy one from another player on the GTN. If you've picked up the Artifice crew skill, more crystal schematics will become available to you as you level up in Artifice. Although orange lightsaber crystals don't have a specific meaning in Old Republic lore, they are mostly seen wielded by Jedi and have a similar rarity to other traditional saber colors. Number 9. The Eternal Championship Crystals In addition to those easy-to-get traditional colors, there's also a few more Old Republic era colors available before we dive into the realm of cosmetic fantasy colors. The first is purple. Apart from red, this saber color is probably the second most popular color choice for Sith, especially for Sith sorcerers who fight with matching force lightning. The second is the Cyan Crystal, which seems to be fairly uncommon and mostly wielded by the Jedi, a similar type of blue saber. The third is the rare and interesting Magenta Crystal. This pink crystal has been available in the game as a secret to uncover for adventurous players who were willing to go on a treasure hunt and craft it from a rare schematic. Unfortunately, although the treasure hunt is still available, the crafting schematic no longer requires a special item from the treasure hunt to craft the magenta crystal. All three of these unusual colors, purple, cyan, and magenta, can all be earned through the Eternal Championship and can sometimes be bought from other players on the GTN. Number 8. White Core Color Crystals this is where we start diving into the cosmetic options, most of which only exist in the Old Republic as cosmetic options to give players more choices when it comes to their character appearance. I'll start you off slow with some sabers that have a traditional white core, but have some exotically colorful coronas. Some of my personal favorites are Amethyst, a lighter alternative to purple, Mint Green, a very soft blue-green color, Farmhand Blue, a lighter blue saber color that's meant to be closer to the lightsaber color Luke is given in the first Star Wars movie, and Desert Green, which is meant to be a similar color to Luke's saber after he loses his first one. There's also the White Crystal, but its origins are probably the most interesting out of all the color crystals in the game. There had been rumors of a White Crystal in the game about a year after its launch, long before it was released in the cartel market. These rumors turned out to be true, but with a shocking twist. A player had managed to obtain a white crystal, but not through a legitimate means. Somehow, through intentional and deliberate manipulation, the player had gotten a white crystal when it was not meant to be available to players. The developers said it was not an easy exploit and not something the average player might stumble upon. While we'll never find out the full story, the white crystal is now available to all players, though it will cost them a pretty penny. Number 7. Colorful Core Crystals in addition to these unusual colors with a white core, there are many cosmetic lightsaber colors with colored cores, allowing players to choose a lightsaber color that they feel perfectly reflects their Jedi or Sith. 
Many of these sabers are actually tri-colored with subtly different shades giving these lightsabers many variations. For example, the green empath crystal has a dark green striped center, a light green core, and a green corona of light around it. Another really cool example is fire orange, which at first glance looks like an orange saber. Actually, it has an orange center stripe, a yellow core, and a red corona. Number 6. The Special Crafted Crystals Not all of these vibrantly colorful crystals are from the cartel market. Crafters who have taken the Artifice crew skill will also unlock some unusual color crystals as they level up in Artifice. At Artifice level 350, you'll unlock the white, yellow, orange crystal and the white, purple, blue crystal, both very beautiful tri-colored crystals. At 500, you'll unlock the fire red crystal schematic. Once again, a really cool tri-colored crystal. And at Artifice level 550, you'll unlock the purple core crystal schematic. Although the earlier crystals you can craft are fairly simple, these later Artifice crystals are on par with the other expensive cartel market crystals. Number 5. The Two-Tone Sabers Among these colorful crystals, there's a few that stand out as being especially vivid. These crystals are ones that have two very different contrasting colors that make up their color scheme. Two that I'd really like to show off are the Menacing Glare Color Crystal, which combines orange and purple, and the Sovereign Golden Blue, which is a true tri-color crystal made of a yellow core, pink outline, and violet blue corona. Number 4. The Black Core Crystals Although the Darksaber is now a part of the current canon lore, lightsabers with a black core have existed in Star Wars The Old Republic since its launch. Veteran players who pre-ordered the game will be familiar with the black yellow crystal, but there's actually many other black core crystals available in the game, many of which can be earned through PvP and purchased once you reach Valor 10. Number 3. The Rackle Crystal There is really only one crystal in the game that has a unique way of earning it. The black green crystal can be exclusively earned through the Rackle reputation track. The Rackle event is a reoccurring plague event, and once you've earned four Rackle DNA canisters, you'll be able to purchase a black green crystal. Speaking of veteran players, for those of you who have been playing a long time and remember there was a special black green crystal for players who purchased the awesome but expensive Old Republic Razor peripherals. I didn't know this until recently, but that crystal is actually slightly different than the black green version available from the Rack Cool event. Number 2. The Ranked PvP Crystals Now here's some crystals not many players will probably know of. These are the Frog Dog Gold, Rotworm Purple, and Black Silver Color Crystals. These special crystals can only be earned by players who participate in Ranked PvP. Number 1. The Retired Ranked PvP Crystals Although I try not to feature retired items in my videos, these crystals are so uncommonly seen that I had trouble even tracking down which of them existed. These awesome crystal screenshots were provided by Ranked PvPers Kogas and Airvel. If you ever want to watch someone do Ranked PvP, I've linked both of their channels in the description. Apart from the purchasable Ranked PvP rewards, players who played Ranked PvP seasons in the past were able to earn special color crystals that can no longer be earned by new players. These fairly rare crystals include the colors Eternal Purple and Eternal Gold Blue, Furious Red Yellow, Commanding Burning Orange, Gladiatorial Gold Outline, Predacious Gold Green, and the Swashbuckler's Black Blue Striated Crystal. And that wraps up some of the most exotic and interesting crystals available in the game. If you're having trouble choosing one, let me give you a quote by Jaden Core. The crystal is, by itself, the power source of the weapon. Like the Force user, the crystal is attuned to the Force. Without that attunement, the crystal is just a rock. And while a non-Force user could probably ignite and wield a lightsaber, the crystal is needed to be properly attuned to the Force. But for the Jedi, the lightsaber becomes more. It is the manifestation of a Jedi's connection to the Force. If you want to show your support for this series, or to have similar Star Wars The Old Republic videos show up on your YouTube homepage, subscribe to this channel. If you want to unlock some more cool lore content, or to say thank you, you can pledge your support at sotarista.com slash Patreon. And remember, even Master Yoda said, the heart of the lightsaber, the crystal, is. May the Force be with you.